There is nothing quite like an open world survival building game and this is yet another one, but I don't think I've seen anything quite like this. Hello again there friends and fans, Raptor here and welcome to our first look at an upcoming game by the name of Outbound. This game allows us to build a base on top of, inside of, and all around a minibus, a camper bus if you will, and it looks very, very interesting and very promising. The devs just dropped their Kickstarter and obliterated it within a, ma a matter of just a few hours. The devs of this game reached the goal and more than likely succeeded it at this point, but yeah, you can see exactly why as it's got all the things that I'm looking for and I hope all of you are looking for in a game that allows you to, well, build and craft and survive. Although this one has tags on Steam of being a cozy, cute, fun game, it certainly has survival elements as you can see the health bar in the lower left corner and also, of course, a hunger bar too. I'd imagine in a game like this we could probably turn all that off if you want to stress free environment or a stress-free experience, but it has all the things that I want for a base builder such as building platforms, farms, and of course power generation and customization too. Being able to paint the van and build a base above it is really cool, and having a mobile base is something that I think more games need and it's always very fun. For example, in games like Subnautica to kind of build a base, you know you can in the uh, Cyclops a little bit, and customize things just a little bit, and that's very nice. But this game seems to allow us to do a lot more than that by being able to drive around and then deploy our base, and it kind of reminds me of Among Trees, but also a little bit of Camper Van, Make It Home, slash uh, maybe a little bit of Unpacking, but it certainly plays like something completely different, and it has multiplayer and multiple vehicles it looks like, perhaps, but uh, yes, it certainly is a game that I'm very excited for and have been keeping an eye on for quite some time. I'm surprised to have not seen anything more than its Kickstarter from now, as it has a release date that is quote-unquote coming soon, but as you'd imagine, a game like this will have a beautiful environment and seems to have a seasonal cycle that does remind me a bit of Firewatch and also a game by the name of Lake. If uh, any of those games are unfamiliar to you that I've mentioned throughout this video, definitely make sure to check some of those out on the channel and make sure you subscribe right now to see more of this and many other open world survival crafting base building games and smash that like button so more people can find out about this one. Now, Solar Punk is another game that's coming out soon that looks a little bit like this and plays somewhat similarly, and also Aloft 2. And these games are really cool because they all kind of look the same, have a lot of the same features, yet all play very differently. So it's really cool that if you're in the mood for survival crafting, you can kind of go from one game to another. If you get bored or want a little refresher, you know, to have a palate cleanser for the day like I usually do. But certainly looking at this van, it is beyond charming. The vehicle itself is the main character, and I absolutely love that. Now there's another game coming soon too called The Sandwich that will have a little bit of a van that you can drive around and customize too, but not to the extent of this game where we're literally building like a greenhouse on top of it. That's awesome. And it looks like the van may have some elements of it, uh, like for example, um, maybe some turbines to pull us along or something for fuel or power generation if it's like an electric vehicle. Maybe that'd be a little bit easier to find, uh, you know, fuel in a, a post-apocalyptic world, but this seemingly is just a beautiful world that just not a lot of people are in at the moment and definitely reminds me a bit of Forever Skies, building the platform on that game that allows you to build an airship and then you can build multiple decks and a huge, uh, you know, deck to it and build all the way around it. Cool stuff. But yes, it looks like we got ourselves a lot of customization, crafting, and vehicle repair too, so hopefully we'll have to craft things in order to keep the uh, van in good and working condition and I'm hoping perhaps to see something along the line of enemies of, I don't know, a bear or something like that. We'll see. But it, certainly if we could take damage, hopefully it's something a little bit more than just fall damage and or uh, having hunger and, of course, having to cook all sorts of different foods and, I don't know, potions and concoctions to be able to solve what could be a very interesting story or quest. Now, the fact that it has co-op is very delightful, too. We will be able to do this all with a friend. And co-op could mean just up to two players, but honestly, if it goes up to four or more, I could certainly see it being maybe too crowded in that van, but maybe multiple people will get a van too. I'm not expecting that though. What I am expecting is for maybe you and another friend to be able to drive around in this van and customize it, paint it, decorate it, and then also build on top of it while doing all sorts of other things like gathering wood and uh, maybe making all sorts of different alterations to the base up top by smelting, you know, maybe to get glass that way, and perhaps doing things like getting fresh water like in raft by maybe distilling water. There's certainly a lot of potential for that, and with this game quote-unquote coming soon, well hell, with all the uh, hype around this one already and with 
me being so excited about it and this just being kind of like the first look at it where it's not even out or doesn't even have a demo or even a release date certainly seems like something that will take a while to create but yet something that uh, yeah could definitely get a lot of player feedback just on the trailers and just on them tweeting out a lot of the information about the game so again a very good and delightful looking game also I think they recently announced the customization of the van too with painting before the van was that beautiful orange color but you know you could go for a green or maybe a classic uh, purple if you wanted any color is probably like uh, probably likely but we do see mining we do see people using scythes and hammers and we also see a crafting mini game too and it does say on the steam store page that there is automation to this game so there might be something where perhaps if you're making food and you put all that food in the stove well maybe it's going to take maybe five minutes or so unless you somehow connect different things to the stove maybe you can speed that up by having different elements or tools or upgrades to that to speed up the timer it'll kind of work like how things do in uh, mini games where you can just set a recipe walk away and come back minutes later so hopefully there's a way to speed that up now it does show wind going on in the uh, forest and so i'm wondering if there'll be some sort of events where you need to get back to the van and hide this game could have some sinister elements hidden in it as well uh, where maybe the full story isn't revealed in just the cute and cozy and cuddly trailer again going back to what i mentioned about the steam store page looking at some more things here i see that it does say nature and building and also driving game and automation and funny and some other tags like that too so i wonder what the element of driving around will be certainly it looks like you're driving around slow looking for things so perhaps a little bit of pacific drive in here where in order to get certain materials you have to go to certain locations it does show driving through a tunnel, and that tunnel could lead to different biomes. So we could go from a forest to a desert, as they show. Then maybe perhaps a winter wonderland, marshes, and other things like that, where we have to go to all these locations to build a big base to then solve a big problem for a story mode. But then I could also imagine a game like this could also have a possible endless mode, or just a free build mode, which would be great, too. They would be... Uh, wise to do that i think so very excited to see this now again the uh, outbound kickstarter launch date uh, reveal was on august 13th for their kind of like uh, kickstarter so that was literally just today as i'm recording this but yeah now they're uh, giving away alpha access for anybody in their kickstarter and uh, that should be something that's coming out very soon i'm assuming they're rolling that out because they've hit their uh, goal on that one so i'm not sure if anybody's permitted to showcase footage but honestly this really has an appealing art style that does remind me a little bit of solar punk and also uh, one called Hello Future. I had to remember that one. But yeah, Hello Future, a game that's a top-down survival game, post-apocalyptic environment. But yeah, I think this is a great art style. I think these colors are very beautiful, and it really makes it a little more exciting to explore the world and uh, make it a little bit more charming than it being a realistic experience. Again, going back to what I mentioned about a game by the name of Firewatch, I think this certainly has a lot of that in here, and I hope we get some sort of a story where it's told by radio with talented voice actors and uh, not driving around just finding a bunch of notes books or something like that or note uh, you know notes that are left around that we have to put together I always love it when we get a voice actor that creates a character that you don't have to think about in your mind you can just listen to them and they tell the story not me um, so I really like that now I hope for the vehicle itself we get all sorts of upgrades that allow us to upgrade the wheels the engine uh, maybe the side view mirrors and maybe other things than just the paint uh, it would be very cool if it did go along the lines of something to do with uh, you know Pacific Drive with being able to put on more durable tires and maybe some bumpers or something like that if there was going to be enemies now again I think this will steer more towards the cozy side but I think if it swerves a little bit towards more um, combat with a vehicle or at least some sort of a sur more survival of the vehicle rather than just having to eat in order to keep your health up that seems in inf infinitely more fascinating to me and I think honestly the game will just do much more better I guess for lack of a better word so uh, but yes we see blocks that are made of glass we see all sorts of mining going on so hopefully we are able to smelt things into iron uh, some weaponry would be cool if we could then get maybe a bow and a crossbow or set traps in order to capture animals and make fibers and things like that out of plants and uh, you know maybe make leather and stuff that'd be pretty cool too but I think again we're going for a cozy experience here that's going to be a little bit more carefree there could be the threat of death through starvation but I don't think we're going to see anything here that's going to be uh, very, very challenging. And that's totally fine with me. I think sometimes with games like, going back to what I mentioned about Aloft, a game where you're building a base on a floating island where then you can put a bunch of sails on it and literally fly your island around to different islands. 
Uh, very cool concept. And there's light combat in that one, but for the most part, you're just flying around gathering resources to upgrade your base. And I want to see more games like this. This is outstanding. To be able to build your base on a vehicle is really cool. Uh, Raft is a game that is the perfect example of that. You know, Subnautica is great too, and you build a stationary base in that one. And in Subnautica 2, you're kind of building in the space truck, which is really nice uh, for some of the, the game as well. You're driving that big boy around. But honestly, in a game like Raft, when you get to build the base and uh, make a ship or a giant raft or whatever you want and have engines on it and navigate with it, that's pretty cool. So hopefully we do get elements where it's not just a long and windy trail and where there's some open world spots where we can really get lost in the desert to go look for materials. I'd love to see something along the lines of a scanner and uh, some more things to be able to salvage from the world. Like, for example, being able to tip over or knock down a windmill and then ad adapt it or bring it onto our vehicle. That'd be cool, too. As well as perhaps a way to customize our license plate. I think that's probably going to be a thing because they show the word outbound on their own license plate. So, of course, you could put bears or something on yours. Yeah, indeed. So I'm hoping to see a lot more from this game. I certainly want to see more of its development. It seems to be well-developed already. They've got languages uh, for subtitles in uh, German, French, Italian, Spanish, uh, from Spain, and 14 other supported languages in total anyway, and at least fully voice-acted English, which I don't know exactly what that could be just yet, but... Um, hopefully we're finding a big O story here. When I look at the Steam store page, it does say that it's like Valheim and Raft, but when I ref uh, refresh, then it says like Unpacking and some other games. So Steam is pretty liberal with its, um, you know, I guess like comparing one game to another. I mean, if you owned Rust and that was your only survival game, it would probably say that <laughs> this game was similar to Rust, which, okay, that'd be your only building game. So yeah, that's what you get to do here. So take that with a grain of salt, but certainly excited to see what multiplayer will bring. It also has full controller support. So this could be for those of you wanting to play on consoles, it could eventually be a console game after its 1.0 release, but no telling at this moment from what I can see, uh, if it's going to just be a um, full release sometime like next year, on console, PC, and, uh, you know, like, maybe Game Pass or something like that for Xbox and, and PC, or if it'll just be a PC-only game, or what the release date will be, or the pricing. Uh, it does say that it'll be available in, uh, like, sometime, like, in the next couple of years with the coming soon thing, or at least, in my opinion, when you see coming soon, I think that means at least, like, the next year or so, unless a developer says uh, otherwise, you know, like, they'll say, oh, we're aiming for a 2026 release window, to which they can push that back further and further. Now, as I mentioned before, that game called Caravan Sandwich is coming out at the end of September, and so I'm going to directly compare the two often, although that game is much more of a third-person kind of story game with not so much customization, but more like unlocking upgrades like you would for the boat in Dredge. But this game just looks really damn cool. Very excited to see what this one's going to bring. Very excited to see what everyone else's opinion will be on it. So let me know what you think down below in the comments section. What do you want to see in this game? Do you want weapons? Do you want combat? Do you want guns? Do you want crossbows? Do you want spears? Or do you just want a really peaceful experience and or do you want to build more than one level? What are some things here that you're seeing in the trailer that you want confirmation on? And we'll certainly ask some more questions. Now, if the devs happen to drop by that Square Glade Games, certainly uh, say hello to them if they say, hey, thanks for reviewing our game. De devs are very, very nice on this channel and it's a great opportunity for you to ask them questions on anything that you might have in your mind. You guys are very knowledgeable about other games too and ask some really great questions. So please leave a question for the developers or me down below and over the next uh, few months when we learn more about this game or if we get a playable demo in the next couple of months, which would be amazing, or a playable alpha or playtest that's available on Steam, certainly a great opportunity for everybody to try it, write up some notes, give even a, I think a playtest now can have a review on Steam or something like that and certainly do that. All right, well, I want to leave you now with the Outbound Kickstarter trailer and then the other trailer that you've been seeing throughout today's video, too, which shows a lot more of the kind of the story, which seems to be along the whole line of Stardew Valley, where it's like, well, you're working your office cubicle job, you throw your hands up, and it's like, enough of this. I'm going out to the wilderness to go explore and survive and thrive. Okay, well, let me know what you think about the trailers down below again. Thank you for leaving a like. Thank you for subbing, and I'll see you all next time. Enjoy the trailers. Let's go.
Are you ready for our adventure? 